Oh yeah, oh no! Whoa! <laughs> okay, this can take a beating. Welcome guys to another episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for being here, liking, subbing and all that jazz. Uh, we are back here in BeamNG as you can plainly see. And I've been looking forward to this episode for a while because um, this specific part of this specific track is one of my favorite tracks um, in Beam. I think I've spent the most time on this specific course that we're about to drive, which is kind of a mix of... Um, uh, an off-road trial course and just a gravel road it's uh yeah it has some faster sections it just has some really tricky sections there's some water there are some rocks um you will see that's a really 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 cool piece of road on a really beautiful map um and we will try not this car obviously but we will use this one, the off-road version of the new uh, Civetta Scintilla. And this is very interesting. This has a diesel engine, which I think is kind of cool because you have a buttload of torque. Uh, 1225 Newton meters is a lot. And 433 horses. Um, that is very, very interesting. Let's load up the car. There's one thing that I would like to change to the setup. Actually, yes. Ooh. I like that. Sounds kind of meaty. Um, there's one thing that I would like to change. Um, is that here in the config tuning? Yes. I would like to raise the right height because um, that is very, very important. Um, spring height. Okay, there's not that much more that we can get out of this, unfortunately. It's actually almost as high as it can go, which is not really ideal on this map, but we will try to manage. So I will I will try to do a bit of a speed run, um, but since the uh, the ground clearance, as you can see, is not super high, so we have to kind of find a way around the big rocks um, but yes yeah, since this is a very fast car we will just try to get a good time here oh man it has been months since I've driven this map way too long for ocean oh, and that's that's what I was afraid of. There we go. Okay. So that was bad. That was the first hang up. Let's uh, try to avoid those. Actually, there are no options for the differential settings. We can't lock diffs or anything like that. So I hope that that won't be an issue that grip won't be an issue oh wow okay it's probably the wrong road for this car but i still i just love it <laughs> and yeah it is fast holy shit come on we gotta be careful not to fly off the track. Okay, this is the tricky part because there are a lot of rocks. So we have to drive around them a little bit. Just like that. Come on. Come on. If in doubt, just floor it. Come on. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Let's try to drive to the right side here. There we go. Oh no. No, we just we just did a 360 on the rock. That is 
That is the first. That is the first. All right, we have to cheat again. I'm. Oh God, that annoys me so much. I was hoping that we would do a lot better, but at least we didn't reset the car yet. Come on. God damn. Ah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Reset the camera view, which is a bit of a pain in beam the camera, I gotta say. All right. Okay, made it past that. Let's keep going. Come on, there we go. It definitely has more than enough grip to tackle the steep bits. It's just the ground clearance is a bit of an issue. When we talk about getting over those rocks. So we have to drive around them. Okay, easy there, easy there. Okay, lots of rocks. Let's try to find a route that works, maybe... That looks good. Come on. No. Come on. <laughs> Can't be serious. Okay, there we go. This is a lot trickier than I thought. The ground clearance really is not there. But, I mean, then again, this car was not built to go rock climbing or anything like that, so... This is uh, my fault for trying to do something with it that it was not engineered to do. But, apart from uh, the ground clearance, which uh, is a bit of an issue here again, it's doing quite well, actually. I don't know why the two-step keeps activating. Okay, oil pan is damaged, which is not good at all. Might be engine oil critically low. Okay, so let's see how long we can drive until the engine dies. This is actually kind of interesting. And floor it. Okay, this will be super tricky. Oh god! This will be super tricky. Since... Ooh. And the engine is starved of oil. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, this is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> oh my god, what a disaster. In my mind, I was driving up there in one go. The, go uh, the car would do everything, but uh, it's, just, it's just not the right car for the track. Let's go to a different map to um, give the car a bit of a better chance to see what it can actually do. Um, see you back here in a second, guys. Hmm, that looks good. Old mill loop. Let's try to drive that. Select. Let's go for five laps. And play. I've never done the time trial thing. <coughs> Um, this could be interesting. Ooh! Yeah, visibility not really that good. And I don't know the track. Oh, but I can already tell how the car handles on gravel. It's lovely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Beam really is the only sim that can do everything well. Some things extremely well. Ah, yes! Yes! 
That's what I'm talking about. This is what this car has been made for. Destroying gravel roads like this. Actually, I know this part from another challenge. I think... No, it's a different part. Ooh. Oh, that's close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't have my handbrake mapped because my fun attack handbrake is not working that well. Oh, yes. For, oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. Sure, no problem driving up that steep bit there. Car seems to be undamaged. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This can take a beating. This can take a beating. I think most cars in beam would just have had their suspension completely destroyed by that stunt. But this one just keeps going. It's tough, that's for sure. Handles really well. Quite predictable. Torque split feels like, I don't know, 50-50, 60-40. Nothing too crazy. When you floor it, it doesn't oversteer and rotate like crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it can't take that. Um, all right. Let's go for... One more lap here. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, no, 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 yes, come on. There it is. Bit of a slide. Yes, you can steer the car with a throttle, which is lovely. It's nice and progressive. Gravel physics and beam really are very, very good. Also, uh, for feedback is worth mentioning again. Um, I was really pleasantly surprised when I drove um, the road going version of this car at Spa for the last video. For feedback felt great, it really did. Better than ever before. And actually on par with uh, Assetto Corsa and AMS2, for example. Maybe AMS2 leads the pack still a little bit when it comes to force feedback but here on gravel ah, you still get so much feedback obviously it's a bit more um, well rougher since the road surface obviously is a lot rougher but yeah you can feel what the wheels are doing you can feel the bumps oh this is good fun Come on, come on, come on. Let's stay on the road for this lap. That would be nice. And you can drive this car pretty quickly on this surface without it becoming nervous or anything like that. It's always very controllable. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
just too bad that I don't know the track. But... Ouch! Induction system damage. I don't know what that means. Maybe we can make it to the finish line. Let's try at least. Because we're almost there. But yeah, now the car is not driving as well anymore. Oh yeah, you can feel that in the steering wheel. The damage system, the way you can actually feel it when you drive a damaged car is so good. And there we are back at the start finish line anyway. All right guys, this, uh, we still have way over 30 degrees here and I'm already sweating again. But yeah, that was the first look at the um, off-road version of the new uh, What's it called? Chivetta Scintilla, I think it was. Um, really amazing car. Uh, I want to... I will find an off-road car for another beam episode so we can do the first trial up the mountain in a better way. Uh, this was obviously not the car for that, but it's, uh, yeah, it handles well, it drives really well. Um, really loving this new car that the beam devs have put in. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.